Mercedes-Benz has once again significantly upgraded the G-Class, re-emphasizing its position as the leader among off-road vehicles. The interior is characterized by high-quality appointments, finished with exquisite materials. The instrument cluster and center console have been completely redesigned. The car features the sophisticated Command Online infotainment system, including a navigation system and internet access as standard. The range of safety features can be optionally enhanced, with the addition of Blind Spot Assist, the Parking Aid Parktronic and the Adaptive Cruise Control System Distronic Plus. New to the range are the G63 AMG with an 8-cylinder bi-turbo engine and the Eco Start-Stop system as standard. The Infinity LE concept is more than just the latest in the series of dramatically styled, technologically advanced concepts from Infinity. Though sharing much with the futuristic Infinity concepts that have come before, the Infinity LE concept is more grounded in reality. Among the key features are luxury sedan style, exceptional acceleration and re-acceleration, leading edge compact lithium ion battery, quiet luxurious interior and next gen Infinity connection, innovative intuitive home based wireless charging system with intelligent park assist. A production version is expected to reach Infinity showrooms in near similar form within the next two years as Infinity's first zero emission luxury sedan. The new Porsche Cayenne GTS builds on the model's reputation as the most sporting SUV, offering a more powerful engine, increased dynamic power development and a tauter chassis with lower ride height. Beneath the bonnet of the GTS lies an uprated 4.8 litre V8 engine with 420 horsepower. Power transmission is via the 8-speed Tiptronic S with integrated auto start-stop function. Tuned to deliver particularly sporting levels of responsiveness, the GTS sprints from a standing start to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, reaching 100 miles per hour in 13.3 seconds. The top speed is 162 miles per hour, and the combined fuel consumption on the NEDC is 26.4 miles per gallon. Audi's future e-tron models will cover long distances powered by practically silent electric motors. To ensure that pedestrians in urban settings will hear them, the brand has developed a synthetic solution, Audi e-sound. Rudolf Heltmeyer is a composer. This gas pedal is one of his instruments. When fully depressed, it sounds like this. These are elements of the Audi R8 e-tron sound, currently available in studios only. We had to convince a lot of people that we have to develop uh, something completely new. Helpmeyer creates the sound of the future for Audi in the lab. He is currently working on the Audi R8 e-tron supercar. Without sound, the Audi R8 e-tron would sound like this. Nothing. Just tire and wind noises. What follows is pioneer work made by Audi. We started uh, developing uh, the first sound uh, steps uh, three, four years ago. Um, the problem is you don't have any tool you can buy on the market. You have to develop the hardware, you have to develop the, the software, and you have to find a great sound for the car. Um, and this took us uh, more than, than three years. Audi acoustics engineers have meanwhile succeeded in giving the R8 e-tron a sound that clearly identifies it as an electronic vehicle, while at the same time underscoring its sporty character. This is what the Audi R8 e-tron sounds like on the road. Mm -hmm. 